them back together again. God said that he's going to take these two sticks and join them together. Now, in my mind, when I first read it, I thought about taking sticks and, 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 and binding them together and wrapping them around where they are close to each other. But the Bible didn't say that. The Bible said he was going to take one stick and put it with the other stick, making it one stick in his hand. How many know that God do great things when he has something in his hand? God wants to do a work in us and through us, but he wants to put us together so we can be one stick in his hand. But we got to stick together. When you look in this passage of scripture, you see that God did not only have the stick together, but the stick I didn't understand how God can allow two sticks. I'm going to tell you what I did. I went to the park. I took two sticks that looked similar. And I tried to put them together. Even sitting back there while I was playing the night, I took the drumstick. I took two of them and I placed them right behind each other. And I tried to see how could God put this thing together. But what I found out was this. That the stick had, been, had to be a, the one stick to begin with. And all God decided to do was to fix the mend and the breach and the break. And to put the stick back together where it first belonged. Glory to God. God didn't take two separate sticks out of nowhere, but he said, take these two sticks and we're going to put this stick back together. If we're going to move forward in God, if we're going to do be anything great in the community or the body of Christ, we have to allow God to put us back together again. Amen. Our 24th principle is the unity of God's people. If you look through our scriptures, we understand that unity brings power and strength. There is a common phrase that says there's strength in numbers. God wants us to be many people as one body and one stick. Don't allow, your, uh, allow ourselves to be selfish in the body of Christ. When I saw the one stick, all I could think was the body of Christ. Because there's many members in one body. But we can bring a cancer to the body of Christ. We can weaken and make sick the body of Christ with hatred in our hearts. We can weaken the body of Christ when we have bitterness in our hearts. The Bible said that he's coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. Good God from Zion. And that church he's coming for is the body of Christ. So if he's coming for a church without spot or wrinkle, we need to get the malice out of our hearts. In God, the Bible says that if our right hand offend thee, it's better that we cut it off and that we enter into the kingdom, huh? but not the body of Christ, huh? because he declared huh, that he's coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. Huh? So if he's coming for a church huh, without spot or wrinkle, huh, I don't think he's looking for the body of Christ huh, to come dismembered. Huh? So before huh, God will allow the body of Christ huh, to be dismembered, huh? he will eradicate huh, the cancer huh, of hate. Huh? He will eradicate huh, the cancer huh, of malice. Huh? He will eradicate huh, the cancer huh, of selfishness. Huh? He will eradicate huh, the cancer huh, of arrogance. Huh? But if we're going to make it huh, as the body of Christ, huh, we got to stick together. Huh? I think it's amazing huh, that God allow us huh, to see the valley of dry bones huh, and then told us to stick together huh, because huh, it's hard huh, for the body huh, to move huh, 
unless there is agreement in the body. My foot has to go where the mind goes, and my hand has to follow the foot. But if my foot decides that it doesn't want to go anywhere, no matter how much uh, my arm moves, uh, I can't make it uh, nowhere. Uh, so I come to encourage us, uh, if we're going to move uh, from destruction uh, to restoration, uh, we got to stick together. Uh, good God from Zion. Uh, I'm reminded uh, in the Bible uh, of the story uh, of Shadrach, uh, Meshach, uh, what do they have to do with sticking together? They decided that they were going to obey the command of the Lord that said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. I could imagine how Shadrach said to Meshach and Abednego, I don't know what you're going to do, huh? but I'm going to bow down huh? because I don't want to face huh? the fire. Huh? If the king huh, would have saw that, huh? he said, I got one, huh? I can get the others. Huh? But I see huh, that the three of them, huh, they decided huh, to stick together huh, as one. Huh? And I come to tell you huh, that a chain huh, is only as strong huh, as its weakest link. Huh? But the chain huh, is still a chain huh, as long huh, as it sticks together. Huh? Shadrach, huh? Meshach, huh? and Abednego. Huh? Look at the story. Huh? The Bible tells us huh, that the three of them, huh, as they were ushered, huh, to the fire. Huh? The Bible says huh, that the fire, huh, it burned huh, the men huh, around them. Huh? The Gotham fire. Huh? Before they got to the fire, huh? they were already huh, delivered huh? before they went in huh? to the fire. Huh? I come to huh? encourage you tonight huh? and let you know huh? if we stick together, huh? there are going to be some things huh? that God huh? is going to deliver us huh? before we make it huh? to that problem. Huh? But if you stick together huh? and go through huh? the situation, I promise you huh, that God, huh, He will, huh, He's going to meet you huh, in the midst of your trouble, huh, your trials, huh, and your tribulations. Huh. That's why huh, He said huh, many huh, of the afflictions huh, for the righteous, huh, but God, the God Almighty, huh, He will. Huh, the stop the sun. He will. He's going to deliver us out of them all. But we have got to stick together. Good God from Zion. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Good God from Zion. They were already delivered. But they decided to press on. Anyway, uh, because uh, they have something to prove, uh, they already said uh, together uh, that God is uh, able. Uh, good God from Zion, uh, together as a church uh, and as a body of Christ, uh, if we don't ever say uh, anything the same, uh, the one thing we should say uh, that God is uh, able. God is, God is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless. Good God Almighty, He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Yes, God, but we got the sick together. 